What did I do before my dry suit? Well, supposedly, I made do and I complained a lot. I couldn't be an instructor these days without my dry suit. I can instruct and demonstrate through the colder months. Nope, the dry suit does not inhibit any movement whilst in the water or getting in or out of my kayak. The most important part and what makes a dry suit are the latex gaskets found on the wrist and neck. Latex gaskets are generally only good for two years and should be replaced by a professional. If the latex gasket was to tear, it's no longer a dry suit. Avoid contact with the sun, sunscreen and insect repellent and use 303 as directed to protect gaskets. Regularly inspect wear and tear. Use ZipTech to lubricate all plastic zips. Apply to zip, work the zip back and forward and then wipe off excess. The dry suit relies on its base layers, your insulation. They should stay warm if they get wet and they should dry quickly. And it depends on what activity and environment you are paddling in. It's very important that you wear water shoes to protect both the dry suit and your feet from the harsh marine environment. Always take care when sliding your head and hands through the latex gaskets. The neck gasket can feel like it's choking you out the first few times you wear it. Take time to make sure it's stretched appropriately. After zipping and sealing the dry suit waterproof airtight, you can get air trapped inside it and you are required to burp it by grabbing your latex gasket around your neck and squishing and bending down and blowing all or burping all the air out. The elastic drawstring does secure your waist. The dual overskirt with hook and loop I believe is a very important feature of the dry suit. It does keep you well fitted and the suit nice and firm whether you wear a spray skirt or not. Most importantly always rinse your dry suit out after being in salt water. As directed use performance wash to clean your dry suit. In summary if you are a learner or intermediate paddler in a cold environment, we do recommend you have a dry suit to increase your learning speed as well as to increase your safety aspect. Get out and enjoy your local paddling. We recommend that you receive training from a Paddle Australia instructor. Drop past the kayak shop East Coast Kayaking, the kayaking specialists.